Hello, I'm Delta Charlie 2 Whiskey Kilo <clears throat> and I'm try out my new butternut antenna and um, I have it on the rooftop so with um, with attuned radials, elevated radials and two radials for every band. The antenna is in maybe 8 meter high and uh, I like to show you uh, so uh, I like to compare the antenna with my hex beam. I have a hex beam from DL7IO. It's a very good antenna and I like to compare with uh, my best antenna. So in the moment we are here on 15 meters. That's a station from uh, Russia. Ontario, Mike 7. Mike Bravo is so 9 plus 10 and QRM. Near zero. So set the butternut. Set the hex beam. Nine plus ten plus the QRM is by seven. So, set the hex beam, set the butternut, hex beam. We are now on 20 meters. This is Radio Charlie 2 Whiskey or 3 Whiskey, it's a Russian station. We are now on the butternut in the peaks S5. So now we're on the hex beam S9. So it's a big difference, but the hex beam is a very good antenna. And maybe it's not fair to compare the butternut with a hex beam, but you see the difference. Here's the other example on 20 meter. It's a Russian station 2. Let's wait. So S9 with a butternut. Now we're on the hex beam. It's the same signal. But another again. Now we have a lot of QS Baltimore, Radio so Julian, in the moment S7 on the butternut, S7, S8 on the hex beam. So here is the difference by this station is not so big like, like by the uh, last station. So it depends on the station and where the QDH is. So um, the antenna is not bad on 20. So it's make a good performance, uh, the butternut antenna. The butternut antenna also have a good performance on um, other bands, like here in the 49 meter band for radio uh, broadcast stations. And here is um, the DRC radio. It's from the German Amateur Radio Club and it always came uh, Sunday, 11 local time and uh, it works nice so far. The conditions are not so good in the moment, but the peaks here are uh, 9 plus 20 and with QSB 287, uh, 2S7 like in the moment and uh, it works very nice so far for me. So. Uh, you can hear radio with the butternut antenna too. I don't have um, other antenna what I can compare here on 40 meters, but I can show you uh, how the butternut works. So, let's see. Thank you. 
France. Oh, a pile up. Who is he? Sounds like Netherlands. Very weak signal. Don't know who he is. Who is he? Netherlands. Papa Alpha. Maybe they have a contest in the moment. Sounds like UK. Yes, it's UK. So it's Italy. What's the German station? It's from France. Sounds like UK too. Yes. So German station. And said it was. So 18 for 80 meters it's too early in the moment. We have 12 o'clock local time. So maybe I'll show you 80 meters later. I think you have an idea now what uh, how the butternut works. It's for me it's a nice antenna with low QA Mexico, what you see here, and with stations with S9. So I had a contact to um, what it was, I think England with 9 plus 20, so it's in the near era, Europe and so, it works nice. And uh, let's see how it works in the DX conditions. And um, I think I make uh, other video on YouTube when I have more information and I have uh, made more tests. So in the moment I'm happy with the butternut, it's working well and um, it's not so much better than my hex beam. The hex beam is 5 to 10 dB uh, stronger, what I see, but uh, that's normally, uh, the hex beam is a very good antenna and uh, normally I must uh, compare the butternut with a dipole, but I have no dipole in the moment anymore, so I only can compare it uh, with my hex beam. So, um, have a lot of fun, 73. I hope we hear us on the bands. Here is Delta Charlie 2, Whiskey Kilo.